Hi guys. What's goody? So we're in the car. Today we're gonna go to the movies. I'm gonna put the name of the movie right here and um we're going shopping. We're gonna go I got I still got like um free food for our birthday, so yeah. we're actually gonna take my father to Moe's. Um it's so hot this heat. Yeah. Um, we're going to the Christmas tree shop. Bath and Body Works gave us a whole bunch of coupons. Yeah, we want to get candles actually because we haven't gotten candles in a long time. And you guys know that I said previously because I was following the medical medium protocol. He was like, the candles weren't good. You know, that's not good to be smelling that. But not for nothing, I kind of miss candles. Yeah, like, I do too. So, so I mean, eventually, giving... eventually we're going to get wax candles. Or is it wax candles? Yeah, I feel like I wish that Bath & Body Works sold them. I'm not sure. I don't think they have any. But I do like the sleep one, the lavender one, because it, like, relaxes me at night. Yeah. And sometimes I have a hard time, like, like concentrating before I go to sleep. Because sometimes your mind just be going, so... Um, I want to spend money, but I really shouldn't because I, there's no necessity for me to buy not a damn thing. And we're trying to see if we're going to go and book a little trip because we didn't go to the pool or the beach this year. So we're trying to see if we're going to book something. So um, we're going away in October, Yeah, but we're trying to see if we could do, my dad wanted, cause we were going to, we wanted to go to Ocean City. My dad was like, I'm tired of going there. Let's go to south carolina i'm like okay but we haven't so, been to ocean city in months i mean in years mm -hmm. so like i was trying to find the airbnb it's hard when you have a dog that's number one and it's hard to find an airbnb that has its own pool and it's located right in front of the beach if that makes any sense like i saw a lot of condominiums and stuff like that and you know when we drink and have parties i don't want to stop drinking or i don't want to stop going to the pool at 10 o'clock at night because it's closed you got what i'm saying so and yeah. then it's like all these airbnbs they have rules and regulations like which you I, can't smoke inside you can't throw a party so it's like where are we gonna party at and and i understand because it's somebody else's property but i'm saying like if i want to be in the pool at two o'clock in the morning playing music and, and smoking i can't do that because there's neighbors next door and you gotta be quiet you can't do this so it's just hard so i just can't wait to have my own pool to have my own shit to have just everything that's in the works and that's in the works it's you know you know in we the got, works we got news for y'all one yeah. of these days um, so we're yeah. super excited and let's get going because the guy's about to come out and yeah so we're gonna take you guys along with us and then we'll give you our you know opinion about the movie yes. and the food and all that yeah at the movie theaters you guys we're pretty early 30 minutes early but by the time we go to the bathroom get sodas and stuff like that yes we're gonna have soda today so i am excited it's a lot of people at the movies today you guys but we're gonna be in movie theater eight Halloween Kills is coming out and then Candyman. I didn't I didn't like the previews to that so I can't wait to see this. Although I already saw some of the previews and it looks okay. Are you right here on the big screen? New VRK. Nobody in here. Yay. about to go into the christmas tree shop i wanted to take the clip up in the car because every time i try to film in front there's always people coming in and out and i don't really like to be filming people like that so okay so as you can see we're going into the christmas tree shop we have we love this store because they have so many good things and as you can see they have house stuff they have um pool stuff I pool guess. stuff yeah they have like decor for inside your house patio furniture 
um, food, and now they have makeup and everything like that, which they didn't have that a couple years ago. So you can literally get everything. And now they're putting food in here too. They always have like food, right? Yeah, but not a big selection like they have now. Mm -hmm. I like just to look at the different decors that they have because it just gives me like different ideas. I apologize if you hear any noise in the background. That's my dad eating and I already told them to be quiet. <laughs> but yeah, um, you could see how cute the little furniture and, you know, the house stuff or like that unicorn stuff that you just saw. I thought it was super cute. So they do have a lot of different things. Um, we decided to go before going to the movies. So I was going to get some stuff. And I had, um, as you can see, all these jams, these different jams, because me and Marlene have been into like, uh, what's that called? Cheese board. Yeah, like the cheese board. So I wanted to get that. Um, I think it was the orange marmalade and there was like a ginger, ginger. one. Um, so I wanted to try it. And also I was going to get some of these Velveetas for my brother because he really likes them. But the line was so insane. And we only had like... 10 15 minutes to cross over to the movies but you know by the time you wash your hands go to the bathroom check in you know get your popcorn and stuff time just flies by so i wasn't able to get anything because i don't know if your area but in my area there's not a lot of people working and there's only maybe one or two cashiers and the lines are so backed up i think it's just everything going on like anywhere i go like our duncan on our area they close an hour early because they don't have staff so it's just like you know people don't have staff these days so it's just hard here we went to bath and body works because we had some free coupons so of course we wanted to go in here but the products are not like they used to be though mm -mm, they're not they don't smell good the candles no. they don't smell like nothing actually yeah to me. so you know this place is a hit or miss to me guys i went to tj maxx and i um had to get these my sister got these for us but i had to pick these up because these are super nice these are lip glosses and how she makes me buy her a, a <laughs> kit of lip gloss yeah yo this bitch is trifling she's yeah. trifling as bitch and so i got these for 12.99 with her card <laughs> yeah with my money is a fucking idiot and then she goes and gets herself this then marlene was like you have to get this. I wanted to get these. Three of them are mattes. Two of them are, I think they are, what's it called? Lustered. So, I'm going to open it so I can show you these. But since me and Marlene are going to be getting our lips done, like, um, lip injections soon. This year. So, so you got these colors. Very up. beautiful, Nene. But I don't really like lip glosses. But these, Very cute. But these are really nice. So here it is. Let's open it up and show you real quick. Sorry, I was washing dishes. Ooh, look how cute the little bag is. Okay. Kelino. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah. Look how cute. I could take my pocket knife and put it in there. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up, man. Pero que belleza, Dios mío. Mira que cosita machula. Oh my god, look how tiny. No, 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 no. Pero mira que cosita más chula. I can't. You guys, I have a little cold uh, from sleeping with the damn fan on. Pero que belleza. No, no, no. Pero mira esta vaina. Oh my god, these are so cute. It's the little, it's the little bullets for me. Mira, look at that. Thank so god cute. you went back to... Yo, my sister's so dumb, like... She went to TJ Maxx to get the lip glosses. And she's like, damn, I want this MAC thing. I'm like, darling, don't leave the store without it. She goes, pays for the lip glosses, and she's like, nah, I'm just going to leave. I'm like, get the lipstick. Yeah, I'll come later before I leave from work. Mm. She did two trips for no reason. Mm -hmm. Extra exercise for me. You're so dumb, But, dude. yo, look how cute these are for 20 bucks, And this is usually more money. I just love this little bag. Especially now lately that I've been traveling a lot. I feel like I don't have any little makeup bags. So this is going to come right in handy to like put like my lotions and stuff like that. So um, there's another kit that I actually want to get. Um, I've been looking on Instagram. There is in Marshalls. There's another kit like this, a nude kit. 
And it comes, I think, with like a palette and stuff like that for $20. Oh, let's go so. steal it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. So we're about to go take Marlene to see if she can finish this piercing. Yeah, the industrial um, piercing, guys. I'm so scared. Like, Oh, my God. So we're going to try to vlog it for you guys to see mm -hmm. if you can... She can vlog it in. Yeah, because they wanted to charge me $90 by the house. Yeah, so we're just going to go in here, check if this is the spot, which I think it is, and then yeah. I'll show you inside if I'm allowed to record or not. So here, as you can see, we're going through some jewelry. Of course, I couldn't record on real time because, you know, they had a lot of music on here. So here we were just looking for um like a jewelry for my sister's industrial here i was looking for um belly rings which i did buy one and um yeah we were just looking my sister was super nervous but he was super sweet he was super nice informative he was just cleaning all the stuff um you know her ear the jewelry piece and everything like that so yeah look how pretty it came out i was super excited the for her finally got it done this bitch Man, almost fainted, you guys. almost fainted, like... Look at I, her hair. Look how crazy I'm she like looks. I'm, like, sore. Like, I'm not... Uh, luckily, I only had that one hole to do. It looks I, nice, though. I think I'm done with piercings. And then I find out, because I'm like, do you have um, jewelry for the snake eyes? So he looked at my tongue, and he's telling me how the jewelry that I have is mad tight. So I have to go back tomorrow, because the jewelry was locked up. To go get piercing jewelry tomorrow. So luckily it's not that expensive, but he was so nice. He was a sweetheart. Um, I almost fainted. I'm gonna else. get um, new jewelry for my belly ring. Yeah. Um, and possibly for my uh, lip, lip as well. Yeah. Hold on. And also, I ended up going to Kohl's, but I didn't want to vlog in there because you know it's the same repetitive stuff. So I ended up getting this black. No, this this gray one sports bra this one is nike i never have anything from nike so i got this this was 35 dollars and then i also got it i was gonna get it in baby blue and teal but i'm like you know for work and this is just for gym purposes um i ended up getting also the black one as well Okay, you know, me, I don't know about cha, but when it comes to bras and shit like that, I don't like wasting money on bras, because I'm like, you know, this was $70 for two bras. Can you believe this? Just for work and for the gym. This is only for the gym and stuff. So, you know, $70, and then Marlene had a $5 coupon, so I got that, and then they also gave me this, the $10 cash back, so basically only $55, right? Yeah, 55 so, so you know still a little bit a lot but still i like it because it has this back here so it's gonna give me a lot of support so i'm gonna tell you guys how i'm how i like it because i noticed now that i got my belly ring and stuff like that like um my sports bras this one that i wear is a 2x i think and it fits me super super big so i wanted to get something really snugged and tight so that it doesn't interfere with my belly and then marlene ended up getting this at the jewelry place this is it was five dollars so she's gonna be using this to clean off her ear piercing now that she has the what's it called and industrial. In the industrial so this is dinner tonight general sauce chicken we got this for free this is for my dad and my brother and i got this soup for me at drop soup and then broccoli and brown sauce and white rice. So here we decided to go to Kohl's. I didn't show the front of it because I forgot. And look how cute these steam Madden boots are. They're super, super cute. Marlene was tempted to get them. And mm -hmm. um, she didn't end up getting them. But we ended up buying some stuff. I don't remember what it was. But we did buy some stuff. And... Um, I was just showing all the shoes that they have. They don't really have like a big selection like they used to. Um, I don't know why, but their shoe game has been down recently for me. So I really thought these were super cute, but summer's almost over. So what's the point of buying them? Just to save them for next year, you know? So I didn't end up getting them. And um, I think we got a $5 coupon that day. So we actually have to go back tonight and use it because it's gonna expire by Friday and I can't go on Friday. So 
definitely gonna have to go back either tonight or tomorrow but most likely tonight we're gonna go back so yeah i want to show you guys oh my god like i'm not really a ug person brand like i don't really like the brand i just i don't like ug boots or anything like that i feel like they make your feet stink from what people have told me and they make your feet look so big so i'm not a fan of that but the bedding you guys like oh my god like the quality and just how it feels so soft like i just love it like i really am considering buying like um a bed set of them because that's how nice it feels the only thing with this is just like trust me when you lay on this you're not gonna want to get up so it's just like should i get it should i not and also i wanted to share with you guys look how beautiful like this calvin klein like um bra set is i'm gonna show you it's so nice like um not this one but there's this rose one i'm gonna show you you guys super super nice of course these won't fit me but i just like to look at different like bras and stuff like that it's just look how pretty i love that my boobs would not make it in there this is my favorite one so freaking pretty so nice the only problem with that is they don't have the matching like you know bottoms for it and i'm trying to get more into like matching outfits like tops and bottoms um, before I didn't really care about that, but now like I really want to get into that So yeah, these are some of the panties for them. Um, they're pretty pricey. I'm not gonna lie like I think this was five for 30 something I want to say or something like that, but the bralettes and stuff is like $40 for one so the bralettes are more pricier than the bottoms the bottoms are pretty affordable. It's like more like a Victoria's Secret type. So here we decided to go to Burlington. I'm not really like, I don't really go to Burlington that often. Like it, it's like months or years, like every year or something like that. Every couple, six months, I'll go in there. So we decided to go there this night to see if we found more of that collagen. Um, liquid that we drink for the hair skin and nails because we like to take that as well and um they didn't have it of course but we ended up seeing all these serums you guys know that we like to take care of our skin so we wanted to get them i was so tempted to get this purse so bad but i'm like you know what should i get it should i not i'm the type of person that i like to think about an item and if i go back which i might go back tonight because i have to pick something up then if it's there, then I'll get it the second time, if that makes any sense. I like to make sure that I really, really, really want it before I go and commit to buying it. Because I really do need a new purse. Um, I need a new purse and a wallet, if that makes any sense. Here, I was just looking at the makeup. They don't have as much makeup like they used to have back in the day. This brand right here, Maine, is really, really good. Um, it's super affordable like in TJ Maxx or Burlington and stuff like that But when you go to Walmart and stuff, it's like ten dollars and up So if you want to try the new brand for like curly hair try that brand I ended up seeing these sandals and of course I like to wear slippers around the house um, So I needed to get some new slippers. So I thought these were super cute. These sneakers were so fire when I saw them, I'm like, oh my God, I want them so bad. But I'm like, let me wait it out. If I want them and they're there next time, I'm gonna get them. So we'll see. They always have cute sneakers though at Burlington. So yeah, I was just looking through the stuff like usual. And I just hate going out sometimes because it's like you go out and you don't need something and you just have to get it. I love this water bottle. Like I was so tempted to get this water bottle. Like lately, I don't know what it is. I've been obsessed with water bottles. And for some reason, I have so many here. And I'm trying to use them all because, you know, I have way too many water bottles. So... Really quick, I just want to show you what we got from Burlington. Um, we ended up seeing these sandals right here. 
which is super cute for Halloween. So we wanted to get these. These were $8.99. And I needed new slippers because the ones that I have now, they fit me so big. I feel like I have dinosaur feet. So I'm excited to wear these tonight. Then we ended up going to Kohl's because I had a $5 coupon. So the Lauren Conrad pants. Hold on, let me see if I can take it out the bag really quick. So Lauren Conrad came out with different colors, tights. So we ended up getting these in a size large. They were $12.99. So we just wanted to get these. I only paid $7 for them, $8 for them. So which is super good because now that it's going to start getting cold, we need to transition from summer clothes to winter clothes. And lastly but not least, we ended up getting these serums from Burlington. You guys know that we love Spa Life. Um, I usually get stuff from them, either them or Advanced Clinicals from Burlington. So I ended up finding, because I'm almost done with the serums that I have, which I'm going to do a skincare routine and show you guys that in the beginning of this video anyways. But this is the collagen infused serum. I know a lot of people ask us all the time, oh my God, your face is glowing. We take care of our skin. Um, I've always wanted to get some vitamin C by itself. So... Um, I got this one, and this one is for brighten and toned. My dad got one as well, so I like to keep my dad young and youthful. And then we ended up getting this pearl serum. This one is hydrate and glow. Now that the winter time is coming, my face gets super dry, especially around like my nose area or my lip area. So I'm definitely going to be using this um, daytime and nighttime okay you guys don't mind the noise in the background we're watching dog the bouncy hunter but i wanted to show you how i did my nails this one is chipping because of work but this is what they look like um i wanted to do something matte for halloween and stuff like that i really need to get a new wax pencil because i'm having a lot of trouble with the one that i have as you can see glue here you can't really tell but in camera you can and right here a little bit of glue because the wax pencil, it's giving me a hard time to pick up the crystals. So when the crystals, it gives me a hard time. The, the glue dries fast, if that makes any sense. And then I did this one like this. And then I'll show you the other side. This is the other side, as you can see, because um, the wax pencil gives me a hard time. I was having a hard time with the glue here. So they fell off today. So I'm kind of upset about it, but that's okay. And, you know, this is my left hand, right? Yeah, my left. No, this is my right hand. So then it's harder for me to do this side of my nails. So, you know, I'm a little proud of myself. You know, I do have a little bit of gel here, but that's okay. And this is my other nail. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So, so we're, mm -hmm. we're going to go shopping. Um, I have a couple coupons. Again, we got Bath & Body Works coupons. We're probably just going to get hand sanitizers. Um, and I got a, a $10 coupon for Ulta. Coupon. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, me and Darlene are kind of like in a freaking funky mood. Because yeah. Just something happened. Yeah, yeah, and my dad is driving me crazy since last night. Yeah. I don't know. Let me say something to parents out there. When you have kids and we become adults, right? Because, you know, we all make mistakes. Sometimes listen to your kids because mm -hmm. I've been telling my dad stuff because we love him and we care and he just don't listen, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn, why you got to do this, man? Mm -hmm, yeah, so. Yeah, you guys, we're going to take you guys along with us. We might go to the Mexican restaurant because mm -hmm. my dad wants to go, actually. So we're just going to take you guys along with us since we haven't vlogged in a little bit and we haven't been shopping. So we're just going to go and my dad and them are already inside. Like, they're not playing these <laughs> games. So let me go. So here we're just entering the mall. We're deciding if we want to go to Ulta or Forever 21 first. So we are going to be going to Forever 21 first because this is the only one by us. And it's probably one of the best ones we've ever been to. They always have cute stuff. As you can see, as soon as I got there, I gravitated towards these boots. And I wanted to get them so bad. But number one, I don't go nowhere. Number two, I barely wear heels. So they had them in black and in this nude color. They were 40 bucks. And I'm like, you know what? If I come back one day, then I'll get them if they're on sale. 
Um, so yeah, I like those uh, sweatpants, but I be getting too hot easily. So I was like, not happening. Um, as you can see, they have the dresses in that same pattern. And then they have a lot of graphic t-shirts. But I have so many graphic t-shirts from Rule 21 that I'm like, yeah, I'm done with graphic tees. They did have a big variety of Juicy Couture um, bucket hats and little bags, makeup bags. And then they had sweatpants. They have sweatshirts. They have hoodies. They had it all. And... Um, I really like them, but the thing about it is I get super hot. These um, was a regular sweater, and then those shirts in the back, they were um, crop tops. So I'm like, yeah, not happening. I really like the patterns, and I love the colors, like the nude one and the pink one, because um, I don't have anything like that, but I get too hot easily. And then these dresses right here, Marlene saw them, and she fell in love with them. These are vegan leather and they're $22.99 or $24.99 so you know they had really cute ones on the other side they had more stuff and she is gonna be trying some on so you guys can see them but they were beautiful like love them I love this one too because it's scrunched up on the side so if you're like curvy and stuff you can pull that dress off and then I like this jacket and then there's a nude one as well that I like um, but I'm like, where am I kidding? I don't really go nowhere. So I really like this jacket a lot. Super nice. So you can see Marlene is trying on the dress. Look how cute it looks. It looks so cute. This one is my favorite one. So of course you already know she had to get it. This one was cute too, but she was like, she has too many of those body con dresses. So she was like, no. And then she ended up getting this one as well because it's super cute and she don't have anything like this. So here we decided to go to Ulta because we saw um, Nicole Guerrero's video and she was actually talking about this oil that came out. It's a body oil right here. This enriched, the soap and glory enriched uh, quick bath and body oil, you guys. You guys, this oil is life changing, so you must get it, especially for the winter time. Here, we decided to go to Route 21, and they had so many cute little Rugrats um, shirts and sweaters and jackets and stuff. We just went to look, they had a lot of cute stuff like I wanted to get, but I have so many graphic tees, you guys, and all I do these days is work and go nowhere. So Basically, I have all those shirts laying around there. I like these bell-bottom pants as well, but I was like, where, where am I going? So, that's my excuse for everything so I don't spend no money. So, if you want to get to my level, just say the same thing. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't got to spend no money. So, yeah, we were just browsing around. And then, that's pretty much it, you guys. I, um... That's it, right? That's all. Um, now we're going to go in a few seconds. I'm going to show you. We're going to be going to a Mexican restaurant. And I just want to say really quick, our server was terrible. But um, yeah, like this is why I don't like going out to eat. My dad actually was the one that wanted to go out to eat because he wanted to go here. But, you know, it was just not it. But still, I think, you know lack of staff and stuff like that so you know going through maybe stressful times i don't really say anything i just go with the flow but like when you go out to eat you want to get good service if that makes any sense so here is my brother's food he got um a chicken and beef taco with red sauce on top and then uh, i ended up getting a uh, hawaiian chicken fajita and my sister got nachos the food was pretty good so it was pretty good my food was bomb. quick i want to show you what we got in bath and body works i didn't want to record in there because with all the music and all the people so we ended up getting some of their hand soaps like for the bathroom we got this one perfect pumpkin um we had like a free coupon for a hand sanitizer we got japanese cherry blossom because this was growing up my favorite scent 
plus the warm vanilla those two were like my top favorite so let me know down below which one was your favorite fragrance like growing up from bath and body works so we got um the body body cream right here and i like this one better than the regular body lotion because this one is thicker so we got that and then we have the warm vanilla sugar this was my favorite and then we have let me see where it is a hand sanitizer that we got for free so we got 20 percent off and then we got this for free so you guys also sent me ten dollars um this was the first time they actually sent me ten dollars off any purchase so I, I was watching nicole guerrero and she was talking about soap and glory um, so I ended up getting this oil that she was talking about and basically what she does is when she comes out the shower and she leaves her body wet, um, she just rubs this and she says that it's so moisturizing and, um, and penetrates in your skin and it smells so good. So I wanted to try this cause I do like, um, soap and glory. So I got three of these. Yeah. So we got three of these, as you can see. We ended up getting this. Everything was sixty something, sixty six dollars, and then um, with the coupon, it was like fifty. Fifty five, yeah. So we got this sugar melting exfoliating balm because since I have my piercing, my lips have been very chapped. So I want to try this one. I always like to try different ones, and then we ended up getting this lip oil um because i usually use chapstick every night mm -hmm. and every day but i want to try an oil and see if that helps this is with rose hip oil and orchid flower extract and then we have two more of these oils and then we ended up getting this buff and ready coconut body scrub so we wanted to try this one because the one that I have upstairs that I got from Tar not Target, TJ Maxx, it's a very oil-based one. So it just makes you want to slip and slide everywhere. So I want to try this one out today and see how good it works because I like to use this on my elbows and stuff like that, especially when I shave. So we're going to let you know how we like this stuff. All right, guys. So this is the dress that I got from Forever 21, as you guys can see. I tried on a couple dresses, just three, and I ended up getting two because your girl don't be wanting to spend money out anymore because, oh shit, I didn't even know this one had a uh, freaking zipper back here. Dresses, these were $24.99, and I thought these were super, super cute. Um, They don't have my size, so I could not even try to fit into one of these. And then she also ended up getting this one as well. This one is super cute. This one has to be my favorite by far. I just love how, like... You know open in the bottom it is and i just love the so way comfortable too and the, i don't have nothing like this so. the way that did it fit i want to show you the earrings that i ended up getting i ended up getting these these say baby girl on it because i need like more hoops i find myself wanting to change my earrings out for work so i got these in silver i got these in rose gold because i don't have anything rose gold so i was hesitant to get it because you know, my earrings are all gray, um, yeah, silver, and like my lip ring and my nose ring, but whatever. I just wanted to get something different. These are Marlene's, and then um, this is for someone else, but I wanted to show you how cute these are. I love these. I love these earrings. They're super cute, and then these as well, and then, hold on, let me see if I could show you the other ones like that, so... Yeah, these are super cute. I love these. And these, all of these were $6.99, these. And this one and these were $2.99. So, this is the ending. ending of the vlog. Ending of the vlog. Vlog, 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 vlog. Oh, my God. So, I have this. Let me, let me tell you what my attire is, okay? My attire is wearing this jacket because I'm wearing, like, this freaking bata. If you don't know what about that is, um, is a nightgown or whatever, and my arms are exposed, and I don't want to show you my ugly ass stretch marks, so yeah, I had to come through and put on a little coat, not a coat, a little jacky jacket, you know what I'm saying? So right now, we doing muka, we drinking, we listening to music, and we chilling, but obviously the music is down because of copyright issues, so we wanted to come and close this vlog together because sometimes we don't do the proper closing and 
you know, just say bye to you guys. And if you've been this far in the vlog and you've enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you guys, the new subscribers, the people that say keep doing what we're doing because our videos help you guys. It just means the world to us because sometimes we be going through it. Sometimes we be having those days where we be like, man, I don't want to film today, you know. And sometimes we need a break because we are human just like you and, you know. Some days is harder than others. Yeah. We, we're not going to pretend here and be like, oh, we don't go through our own issues. So today we went to the gym. I edited this video and, you know, just trying to keep myself active and motivated. Mm -hmm. I feel like the weekdays are easier for me because I have a routine. Weekends, a little bit more harder because, you know, weekends I don't go to the gym. Today was a hard day for me to go to the gym, but I still did it. And it felt great. And just the results, us seeing results and stuff like that, the definition in our legs and our arms, it's just amazing. And Take this is the, the longest time we've ever gone to the gym and just eating healthy. I mean, we've eaten healthy like the first time we did it. But this time, it's just like, you know, it's How a little bit... How long we've been going to the gym? Is it going to be like six months that we've been going? This is the longest we've ever been <coughs> consistently. And it feels great. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I'm, I'm lazy as hell. Like, you couldn't ever, ever pay me back in the days to join a gym and be consistent. Like, me and my sister... So we've done Platinum Fitness, Lucille Roberts... We almost did curves. But we, we did never... life It was a life fitness. Li lifestyle. 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 We did. We almost did curves um, mm -hmm. when we used to live in um, Florida, in Tampa, Florida, but we didn't do it. And um, yeah, this is the longest we've done working out. I mean, we've worked out in our house. The first time we did it, we used to work out in our house and stuff like that for like mm -hmm. a year. Mm -hmm. But to go to the gym is just. It's harder. It's because, like a chore for yeah. me. Having to get up, get dressed, turn on the car. You get what I'm saying? Um, especially in the in the winter time when it's raining, when it's cold, when it's you know snowing out it's there. It's starting to get gloomy. It's starting to get darker. Mm -hmm. And it's just like it's an amazing feeling, like that we're able to do this and just go and just be active and like put time into ourselves because mm -hmm. for so long. We put ourselves in the back burner. And that's one, one of the things that I want to say. A lot of people hit us up. You know, I'm not feeling good. I'm depressed and stuff like that. You got to make sure that you put yourself first at all costs, you know, and do stuff that makes you feel happy, right? If going out to go for a walk and going to Starbucks and getting coffee and reading the newspaper makes you happy, then do that more consistently. Do that twice a week or once a week as much as you can do it. You know what I'm saying? If going to the gym or going on vacation or, you know, going on a bike ride makes you feel happy, or then do that. Or yeah. something. You have to do stuff that makes you happy. You have to be more consistent yeah. at it and stop making excuses because let me tell you, the mind playing so much tricks on you. I got to get my eyebrows done again. Like they look like trash, but um, the mind plays so much tricks on you is not even funny. And if so. you don't control it, it'll make you do crazy stuff. So, yeah. um, you know, just take care of yourself, do things that make you happy and you'll be golden. You know, we're a work in progress. We do the same thing and I don't ever want to come on here and look at how we're coming on here and I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all know when we get done up, we get done up. You know what I mean? So I'm not afraid to show you this side you get what i'm saying because i'm human just like you the only difference is that i'm on a big platform you get what i'm saying so i want you guys to know that we appreciate you guys we love you guys anything else you want to say no stay positive stay strong continue to work on yourself continue to work on your goals and continue to just be a better person for yourself the more you work on yourself the easier things can and get. Life will go. Um, yeah. yeah, just today I was reading my book and or was it yesterday? I finished reading my book on positivity. I think you were editing today, yeah. Yeah, today I was editing, but yesterday I finished reading my book and it was just saying, you know, <coughs> if you want positive out there, you have to put positivity out there. If you're gonna be negative, that's all you're gonna get. You get what I'm saying? So 
surround yourself with positive people. And even if you don't have positive people in your life, continue to read your books or do things that are going to make you happy. For me, it's reading books. For me, it's just... And I think reading books reassures me every day to continue to be positive. Because sometimes I don't read my books. And sometimes I'm like, like yesterday, um, I have went through this little experience. And right away, I got upset about it. And I'm like, you got to start reading your books again. If I let my books just pile up there and not read them every day. Um, the body wants you to be in dysfunction. Yeah. And to be in a negative space. Yeah. Because it's easier to be negative than positive. You don't know the work you have to do to change your mindset. Yeah. To change your mind frame and to continue to be a better person. Mm. It's a lot of work. It's mm. not easy. It's because not. if it was easy, everybody would be positive. Everybody would be in a good space. And sometimes there's things that happen to us that we can't control. It's the way that you're going to come out of it. It's the way that you're going to handle that situation. What are you going to take from that situation? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not easy I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I don't have my bad days. Today, I didn't want to listen to no positivity. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to be in a negative bubble. Yeah. You got what I'm saying? So it's every day is a work in progress every day. So with that being said, we hope you guys enjoy this vlog. We have more videos coming for you guys. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you guys so much for all the love, for all the positivity. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.